Hello everyone, I welcome you all to my channel Green Knowledge. This is CNC programming series part 4. In this video, we are going to learn how to start CNC machine and make it ready for the operation. In present situation, if we call ourselves a CNC programmer and we don't know how to start CNC machine, then it's a shame. So it's very important for a beginner to know how CNC machine starts and what are the things we have to check before start writing our manual program. So I highly recommend you to watch this video till the end for better understanding. So to start CNC machine, step 1 is very simple. All you have to do is switch on the main power for electricity. In second step, you have to find voltage stabilizer, which is usually placed behind the CNC. And it is used to balance fluctuating voltage in order to provide a stable voltage. You have to switch on voltage stabilizer in two steps. First on the MCB and then second press this green on button near the digital screen. In screen you can also see the voltage. In step 3 at the back side of CNC machine you will see a power knob button which is usually in red color. You also have to on that by rotating it. With this hydraulic system will automatically get on. Before moving on to the step 4, make sure that the doors of the CNC machine are closed. Now you have to come near control panel and press CNC on button. You will see our CNC machine has started and is loading the data. At step 5, after your data is loaded, an alert message will come up. It will ask you to release emergency stop button. For that, you have to release this emergency stop button by rotating it like this. Sixth step, you have to press machine reset button, which is placed in control panel here and you have to press it like this. Seventh step is an important step in which we have to reference our X axis and Z axis. By referencing, I mean we have to bring our tool to the home position. It is done with the reference button. Reference button can be seen in control panel. Here we have to press this. After pressing reference button, you have to go to X positive and then to Z positive. It will bring our tool to the home position where we can see our X axis has become 0 and Z axis value has become 0. Eighth step. Till now our machine is ready to work but we still have to check some points like hydraulic pressure. We have to check hydraulic pressure like this and it has to be about 40 to 45 bar. Then in ninth step you have to check lubrication and coolant level and its pressure. It should be at green level like this. Then you also have to check the chuck pressure and tailstock pressure. Chuck pressure should be about 8 to 25 bar and tailstock should be about 8 to 16 bar. You can check this chuck and tailstock pressure like this. Now we can say that our machine is ready. It is ready to do the work. We have to put the workpiece, tool and program and start our production. Now let's just revive whatever we have learned in this video. First step was to switch on the main power. Second step to switch on the voltage stabilizer. In third step we switch on the power knob which was red in color. In fourth step we pressed CNC on button on control panel. In fifth step we released the emergency stop button. In sixth step we press the reset button. In seventh step we reference our X axis and Z axis in order to bring them in home position. In eighth step we checked the hydraulic pressure. In ninth step we checked lubrication and coolant level and its pressure and chuck pressure and tailstock pressure. And after that we can say our CNC machine is ready to do the work. Similarly, if you want to turn off the CNC machine, everything has to be done in reverse. First, clean the CNC machine well, then turn off the control panel, then go backside and turn off the red knob button, then we have to turn off the stabilizer and at last we have to turn off the power supply. So thank you everyone for watching this video. I really appreciate your patience that you have watched this video this far. So if you really like the video, please subscribe my channel, like the video so that I can come up with a better content for next time. Thank you.